guys, Stella the STI here, and today we're going to be talking about changing the screen off function to a customized image of your liking. Uh, this is always good to do if you're just trying to look for a nice image for a clean look in your car, or if you just want you know, a picture of your family or anything of that sort. Me, personally, when I hit the screen off button, mine goes to the STI logo. Uh, I just think it's a clean look and I think it looks good in the car, you know, if I'm just taking pictures of the interior of the car. Uh, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to change that, so here we go. Alright, so first thing that we want to do is we want to plug in the USB flash drive, which I already plugged in here, that I called Henrietta. Then what we're going to do is you can select any image of that's off your camera or yourself or anything like that. But for me today, I am going to be selecting an image that's off the internet, that STI logo that we we're talking about. So first we want to do, go to Safari, type in STI logo background. Go to images, scroll down till, oh there it is. I don't even need to scroll down much. Next you just click view image. Then right click the image, download linked file as, and then we're going to just save it to desktop, and there we go. Exit out here, we don't need that anymore. And then you want to open up the file, like this, and for some reason, my Subaru did not recognize the image unless it was uh, to the pixel size as I have listed here of 1280 by 782 or 800 by 480. So to adjust that, what we do is we open up preview with the image, go to tools, adjust size. You want to click on the lock here to unlock it that you can adjust the size itself and then type in 1280 and 782 or you would put 800 and 480 and then you click OK and there we go it adjusted the size next what we need to do is I would I just always duplicate it to create a new file of it uh, and to make sure I go to tools, adjust size, just to make sure that that size saved. Click OK and then you're going to save the file and once you save the file um, it has to be in JPEG, .jpg or .jpeg in order for the card to recognize it. So here I'm going to rename the file STI background Kind of make it the best uh, quality picture that we could. And you just have to remember the size of the image cannot exceed 10 megabytes. I mean, this file size is only 156 kilobytes, so we don't have to worry. That's not even close to 10 megabytes. Click Save. Now we can quit preview. Look at the background. What we could do is get info. We can look to see, make sure that's smaller than 10 megabytes. And we're good to go. So all you need to do now is click and drag onto the USB flash drive. Open up the USB flash drive, and then you want to right click, create a new folder, and name the folder image. Once you name the folder image, you want to click, drag, and drop to that image folder. And there you go. Now we'll head over to the car. All right, so now that we have the image folder with our picture in it, we got the USB. We just need to plug it in here. There we go. And now we'll go to settings, general, 
scroll down custom screen off image click USB copy from USB and then there's our image STI background.jpg and then we're going to copy yes now we do have the option of actually loading the image by the micro SD card slot I personally I uh, didn't want to mess with that SD card because that is where all of our maps are per currently stored for the GPS system so I just didn't want to want to touch that all right so now we're going to go to select images and then there's our picture right there I'll give you a little preview of what it looks like and then you just want to click OK and that's it it's loaded so in order to access the screen all you want to do is you want to go to settings and then you want to click screen off and then your image will show up and it will stay up until you press the home button um another way to access it in a little bit quicker of a way you just want to hold down the volume button and there you go now i'm unaware of any way to play any sort of video um, or any other sort of customization to this navigation specifically. So if anybody knows how to access that, um, please let me know. Please comment below. Uh, I would be very interested. If I do find anything out, I will instantly make a video about it. And that's it for today's video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Feel free to comment below. And until next time.